Hey everybody, happy whatever day it is that you're watching this, and welcome to a tutorial on rack mounting half rack gear, or half unit gear, or whatever. I think these are called half rack units. This is gonna be like an easy version. There's two ways that you can rack mount half rack gear. One is what I'm going to show you today, which is just fine if your equipment is going to be sitting on a shelf and not especially moving around. If you're going to be traveling with your half rack space units, I do recommend getting a shelf that has vented, uh, vented screw holes in the bottom so that you can screw them in. What I'm going to show you is just a simple Velcro technique, okay? So things you're gonna need, two units, I guess you could do it with one, but that's not my business today, and a rack shelf. So what I've got right here is just a Raxess, um, this is a UTS-1. Uh, another model that they make is the UNS-1, and the UNS-1 is the vented one that you can screw into. The UTS-1 you cannot screw into unless you drill some holes which could be just fine if you're into drilling holes and stuff. Personally, I've got other stuff to do, so I'm not gonna be drilling into anything today. So here is a rack shelf. This is just a 1U rack shelf. That's it. This is where the process begins, okay? I've also got some Velcro. In this case, this is enough to make four strips that will run the length of my preamps. I'm gonna need scissors, which are right here. I'm gonna just grab them. Here are my scissors for cutting said Velcro, right? Um, I've got a little alcohol prep pad right here. This is gonna be just to clean off the surfaces that I'm mounting this Velcro to. You could use soap and water and let it dry. You could use rubbing alcohol, probably hydrogen peroxide. Whatever, it's just a good idea to make sure that any kind of surface you're about to stick things onto is clean. This is 70% isopropyl alcohol for disinfection use. Great. And I've also got three little pieces of foam and um, some cat hair. And what these little pieces of foam are gonna do is just help provide a small amount of cushioning on the sides of my preamps and also in the center where there's a small gap. So these are gonna help eat up some of that gap space and provide just a little extra cushioning. This happens to just be cubed foam from like a Pelican case or a Condition 1 case or something. Just some kind of flight case, you know? It's just the, the stuff that you cut out so you make shapes for your microphones or whatever stuff that you're putting in those cases, right? That's all we need to make this happen, okay? I'm gonna move the, the little GoPro camera over here and let's switch to first person perspective and let's make this happen. On these preamps, these happen to be Warm Audio WA-12s. Now I bought one of these and I liked it so much that I had to buy a second one of them. I finally got it. If you haven't used this preamp before, I really recommend it. They don't even make the WA-12 anymore. They're on the WA-12 Mark II now. Go ahead and look up reviews on these things. I'm not gonna waste time talking about it, but it's basically a really cool little preamp. It's an API 312 clone, okay? So on the bottom of these things, you're gonna see we've got some little rubber feet and I'm gonna be ripping those off because they take up too much space. So I'm gonna carefully set this down, pull these little rubber feetsies off. We don't need you guys anymore. Goodbye, rubber feet. And uh, I don't know what I'll do with these. I, I might like donate them to my neighbor's kid. I might just throw them in the trash. So these are leaving behind a little bit of residue of some kind. I'll probably forget all about that. So I'm just not gonna do anything about it. So here's those four rubber feet. Okay, cool, I'll set those aside anywhere. Doesn't matter. Let's deal with the four rubber feet on this second preamp unit right here. Carefully set him down and just, they pop right off. Now you'll notice also a bunch of little uh, holes in the bottom of this preamp unit. 
What these little metal holes are for is for screwing them in to a vented rack. So like right here, right here. Okay, this is where you're gonna be putting your screws if you prefer to do that. I don't know what size screws you need. So I'm gonna take both of these preamps and just set them down in the rack just so they're not gonna move anywhere. I've got them next to each other. Okay, this is a nice little working area here now. Great, let's measure out some of this Velcro. Now that I've got my Velcro at a workable length here, I'm gonna just kind of line it up and just snip it where it looks good. So I'm gonna situate these approximately as such. It's time to get some alcohol in the picture. Man, we've waited so long for this moment. Great, now I'm gonna wait for that to dry. While you're waiting for rubbing alcohol to dry, it's always a great idea to carve the initials of someone you have a crush on into the bottom of your rack mount devices. Uh, not only will this decrease resale value, but it will also increase sentimentality, right? So I'm gonna just put like, uh, here's a little, well, that's not quite doing it, I need something bigger. There we go, we'll just carve a little heart in there. There we go, perfect. Now just like every other serious engineer out there, I've got a little memento on the bottom of my preamp so that uh, whenever I go ahead and uh, remove these things, I'll remember who I was into at the time. Lovely. Now the rubbing alcohol has dried and uh, it's time to put the Velcro on the bottom of these things. So you might be asking yourself the question, do I put the hooks or the loops on the preamp? And do I put the hooks or the loops on the mounting shelf? The answer is, it doesn't matter at all. So I'm gonna put the loops on the preamp. Now I'm gonna lay the loops and the hooks one on top of the other. Now my hooks are there on the loops. In case you're wondering, just for clarification, the soft part are the loops and the hooks are the rough part. Those are the hooks, okay? So the reason that I'm laying those hooks on top of the loops is that I'm gonna flip these units over and just stick them straight in there. Great. Now we've got all the Velcro in place and we're ready to move on here. Okay, it's time to use a little bit of that rubbing alcohol on the bottom side here. And I'm just gonna wipe down the whole thing. Okay, lovely. This part has to be done somewhat carefully as the moment that the uh, Velcro touches down, you're pretty much stuck where you're at. So I'm pushing these, these preamps all the way up to the front of the unit here. I want them making contact with the front. Maybe you wanna do yours a different way. I want mine making contact with the front. So I'm gonna remove the plastic from the bottom of the hooks. And here's a little tricky part. I'm gonna need to move both of these preamps in towards the middle and stick this foam in between them. And uh, wish me luck here. Here we go. Yeah. 
Well, there you have it, guys. Here's how you rack mount a couple of half rack units. And uh, they're, they're not going anywhere. So this is, this is looking pretty good. Yeah.